divisibility rules, or sometimes it is also called divisibility test. These are rules to determine if numbers are divisible by other numbers. When we say divisible, it means if a number can be divided by another number equally, with no remainder decimal or fraction. Divisibility rules help us quickly find the factors of numbers without carrying out the actual division. All we need to do is to look closely at the digits. For you to better understand what divisibility means, let's have a sample problem. Teacher Lindsay scheduled her class for outdoor activity. The class she handles has 20 students. Can she group the class into 2, 3 or 5 equally? Let's analyze the problem. There are 20 students in the class. And the question is, if the students can be divided equally into 2, 3 or 5 groups. Take note of the word, equally. When the students were divided into 2 groups, let's say group A and group B, how many students were in each group? Is there anyone not included in group A and group B? Since after dividing 20 by 2, the answer is 10, and there is no remainder. Therefore, we can say that 20 is divisible by 2. How about if the 20 students are divided into 3 groups? How many members were there in each group? There are 6 equal members in each group with an excess of 2 students. Therefore 20 is not divisible by 3. Because when 20 is divided by 3 the answer is 6 but there is a remainder of 2. When the students were divided into 5 groups how many students are there in each group? There were 4 equal members in each group so we can say that 20 is divisible by 5. So the answer to the problem is. She can group her class into 2 and 5 groups equally but not in 3 groups. Let's now move on to factors. A factor is a number multiplied with another to get another number. 5 times 4 equals 20. 5 and 4 are factors of 20. When a number A is divisible by a number B, then B is a factor of A. 20 is divisible by 5, because when you divide 20 by 5 the answer is 4, there is no remainder. So if 20 is divisible by 5, then 5 is a factor of 20. Common factors of two or more numbers are factors that can be found for each given number. Example, is 2 a common factor of 248 and 600? To answer the question, you have to use the divisibility rule for 2, for both 248 and 600. The last digit of 248 is 8. It is divisible by 2. And the last digit of 600 is 0, which is also divisible by 2. Therefore 2 is a common factor of 248 and 600.